Jetswa. Okay. What's going on? In the latest news for the New York Jets. Well, it's a lot of defending going on. And I'm not talking about defense. Bar. Aaron Rodgers defending Nathaniel Hackett as the OC. Meaning, you know, he's a good choice. He's the guy that can get it done. Apparently, the Jets are like, we don't want you. We want you out of here immediately. Pack your bags. They tried to fire him. Last, like I think mid job. Yeah, they tried to. They tried to kind of like replace him as he was doing the job. Yeah, right. Which was weird. Which is crazy. But I mean, granted, you know, he didn't have a full full deck last season. You know what I'm saying? So you you know you lost your ace. But um, I mean, listen, we're coming off a fucking really. I think a really good draft. I think we addressed all the needs. It's probably one of the drafts that we actually addressed the need. Um, I would have took Brock. What's his name? Brock Bowers? Something like that? Yeah, I would have took him. Brock Bowers. Bowers. But I, um, it didn't pan out, which is great. I think we went, you know, had to build the wall. And that was extremely important. Build the bridge. That's what I'm going to call it because we live in New York and there's bridges. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. So, you know, the Rogers Bridge. And um, realistically, I mean... I heard we got some skill position players that are that are something to talk about. Uh, we got the running back Allen, who's really they're they're really impressed by him, and we got that kid uh, Malachi, was it Coleman or something like that? Yeah, yeah, caught him in the third round. He was like mentioned of the top four wide receivers of the whole draft. So you know, having those assets on top of a potential Mike Williams, on the top of a Garrett Wilson, on top of a Wall, on top of Brees Hall. <sighs> Here's my question. All right. If the, if the Jets struggle, how many games do you think that it takes for them to relieve Nathaniel Hackett of his duties? You got to see where they're struggling from. What if the offense is struggling? It's going to take about six, maybe less, maybe I think four. It'll, I think it'll be less. I think, I think if less. they, I think if I think if they're not in high octane offense within the first four games of the season, probably three games, I think that they give him a very short oh and three reach. crazy out here. Yeah. But here's a question for you. Where do they go? Well, in regards to offensive line. Do they do what I I would now listen. Well, offensive coordinator if they fire yeah, Hackett? Yeah. They would hire within. Okay. They're not they're not gonna hire outside because it's too complicated to do if you hire outside it looks crazy. during the season. It looks nuts. Now you have to go ahead and install a brand new system. You you go ahead and hire within so the guy already understands what he's doing. I don't think I I be keeping real so real with you. If they keep him, someone has to someone has to actually have that type of uh, energy going into it. That's like, you know what I mean? Be the wide receivers coach, be the quarterback coach. Somebody has to get some type of type of praise early on for it to even be a thing to do. Because you got to have a face attached to the position. But I feel like this is such a big year for the Jets that. It's make or break. Like this shit getting blown up. I'm keeping real, and I'm a I'm the guy when it comes to the fan. 2025 season, blown up. This is all riding on right now. And they have they have a lot of televised games this year too. Six. Wow. We're back to fucking Monday Night Football first game, and but this time it's not in a town. It's over in um San Fran. And so Rodgers and Rodgers said it. He said, "Look, man. He said people want to see me fail." They hate me, like like me or hate me. They 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 want to see me do something. So I'll I'm say, curious to see it, man. I, you know, Aaron Rodgers, my guy. So. I'll say it like this: in this season, and granted, Miami is like you know, Miami is the team to beat right now. You know what I'm saying? In in the division, they got OBJ, good pickup. They got a good offensive line guy, I think as well. Um, Tua lost about ten to fifteen pounds. I don't know if that's good or bad, but. You know, that's that's what we're looking at. Like it's Bill, bad because that two helmet gonna look even bigger than that. I need you to back oh. off, all right? Sorry. Just chill out. <laughs> His helmet's only big because he's smart. It'll pause. Hey yo, what the fuck? How's that pause? Helmet's only the <laughs> You gotta relax. <laughs> so You gotta relax. I I mean listen, now if I'm gonna be, you know, the guy, not just being a fan, but just be realistic, like how much the cheetah I left in the tank? To really be the cheetah. I mean, he he had about four babies last year. He got he got six and he got six in him. He he got number six to make. So you know he's good. Like, he's good. I don't know, man. 
We'll see. You know what I'm saying? But um, realistically, I think we got we got we got something this year. This is the year they're riding on. You know what? I thought that you were gonna be humble, and then you come with that bullshit. I can't get my shit off. This is why. This is why I always have to, you know, attack you. You don't have, when yo. it happens, right? Because you came in here last season with all this bravado and all this smoke. Yo, j- 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 they're gonna have the best defense, and you had to eat humble pie. I thought you would. The, the way you were speaking just now, you were like, you know what? We're gonna see how how. I, but then you're gonna talk about this. Be humble, bro. Because when it don't work out, you got to walk it back. That's all I'm saying. I just want you to understand something. I know where you live. I know you very well. I don't want any problems with you. But if you keep ensuing these problems, you will get them. It's horrible I, audio. I okay? don't say anything about Darvin Ham being your fucking coach and JJ I say he was Reddick, trash from day one. And I don't give a fuck if Mitch Trubisky is going to be your I don't care who is going to be your coach. But I support you. Because at the end of the day... A happy you is a happy me, man. Well, I'm the opposite. So why don't you just back the fuck off and cut the shit? I'm, I'm the, the intro. All right? I fucking had to go outside, cool off, take a hit, come back, and be like, all right, you know, I can fucking do this. I still got it. I'm not going to be punching the air down here like Trey, bro. It's not It's not happening. It's a new show. No, fuck you, man. <laughs> it's, it's a, a new show. It's, it's a new body count. It's a new show. Right? Okay? Switching shit up. We don't, we don't care. Fuck. For clausums, okay? Then why do you do Jets watch? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah. You don't even do Laker watch. That's a good, that's a good idea. I, I'll put a new spin on something else. Yeah, CP3 is going to be a Laker. Boom, drop the mic, I'm leaving. Anyway. <laughs>